this level is definitely like so sprawling. It was one of those uh <clears throat> Definitely one of those I'm gonna need to do this a couple times to find all the stuff. Completely wasted that star, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I don't care. That's not good. <laughs> hello, hello everybody! My name is Nuke and welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. I apologize in advance if my voice is a little a little scuffed right now. I, I literally just got out of bed. I'm trying to record at least something before I go to work. So, that's why I sound a bit scuffed. That's okay though. Got a bit of the, the early morning crawl in my voice. Or whatever you might call it. I'm gonna try to, in this episode, at least get to the Castle of World 5, so... If there's, I know there's quite a few levels left, I don't think we'll be able to fit all of the rest of World 5 into one video. But, maybe at least two or three of the levels. Also, a little announcement, and I know this isn't really important, but no, I know I said in a, la in a previous video that uh, I had lost my uh, Pro Controller, so I was using the Joy-Cons. Well, I found my Pro Controller yesterday. It was in a place where I don't normally keep it, and I don't know why I decided to put it there. But, uh, I found it. <laughs> and I have it now. <laughs> this, and I was, which is a good thing, because I was worried about using the Joy-Cons, because I know how infamous those things are for Joy-Con drift. Like, I never even... Uh, from the time I got my first Switch, this is my second Switch, because my first one I dropped it and broke the screen. Oops. <laughs> My first Switch, uh, I never used the Joy-Cons. This Switch, I've never used the Joy-Cons. I, I just don't like using the Joy-Cons. Because I always kind of knew... Number one, I don't like the way the Joy-Cons feel. They're very small. But also, like, as soon as I heard about the Joy-Con drift thing, I was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna not do that. <laughs> but I do have to say, if you have a Switch, you don't have a Switch Pro Controller, I highly recommend it. Like, just the official Switch Pro Controller, because it's very... It's very good, very sturdy, I use it a lot. And I don't think I've ever had the battery actually die on me. <laughs> like, the, the battery life on this thing is insane. Which is weird, considering... Switch kind of has maybe like a 5-hour battery life at best. And the, the Nintendo's last controller, the Wii U gamepad, has probably the worst battery life of any controller I think I've ever seen. Ah, coins. I remember when I first got the Wii U gamepad, I think it probably lasted maybe three hours, I think. Three to five. And then after about a year of owning it, it went down like maybe an hour. And it got to a point where it was like, oh, it lasts, you know, maybe 45 minutes after four hours of charging. Like, really? So I bought a new, uh, come here, bunny. I bought a new battery online and replaced it. And now it still only lasts three to five hours ish um but it is a bigger battery than what the gamepad originally came with so that's cool not a hard replace either see so yeah, i think the stamp is over here i follow these ants into their little ant bad here yeah there it is Ow. Worth it. <laughs> I lost my cat suit, but it was all for the greater good. This level is definitely, like, so sprawling. It was one of those, uh... <clears throat> definitely one of those... I'm gonna need to do this a couple times to find all the stuff. Completely wasted that star, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I don't care. That's not good. <laughs> Completely missed time that jump. I'm not even gonna bother trying to catch these bunnies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Oh, one coin, thanks. 
Thank you. How how great. I could I could spend ten minutes looking around this map trying to find another bell, but I don't think I'll find one. Not worth the amount of time I'd spend searching for it. Let's put it that way. for this thing to turn one more time so I can have a better shot at that flagpole. Got it. Nice. Still don't know what triggers the fireworks, though. Interesting level choices. I'm gonna go with this one. I like this level because you get to play with explosives. Like so. Oh. I keep forgetting that uh, once you grab something, you have to press the run button again to throw it, which is such an anti-Mario rule because usually you just pick something up with, while holding run and then you release run and it throws. So it kind of still throws me off every time. <laughs> Yeet. Do that bomb a little too close to my face, but you know what? We're fine. <laughs> I love levels with explosions and power blocks. Okay, I'm gonna run around the fast way. There we go. cloud. Oh, I've already got two stars and a stamp. I'm doing pretty good this level. Ah. I tried to tail whip him. That did not work. Come here. Kind of just came out of nowhere. I forgot they cut they spawned down there. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Got a little dicey there for a second. Welcome to life, buddy. Now explode. Hmm. Well, that doesn't help anybody, does it? In fact, that, that does me no good whatsoever. <laughs> This does me literally no good. Hmm. 
And I got this. I got this. There we go. I was trying to see if I could just like wall kick, repeatedly wall kick my way up there. That didn't work. <laughs> I think I got time for one more. Yeah, we'll do this next one and then we'll, uh, save the second to last level with the bullet bills there in the castle for the next episode. I do it all at once, but I don't quite have that much time for an episode today. Walk flip. Okay, this one I know has cherries in it. This level's kind of a bit difficult. <laughs> of course, the level with the multiple cherries is the uh, fire flower. <laughs> No. Bad piranha plant. God, I hate this. <laughs> it just feels so tedious. I'm trying to zap that piranha plant with fire, but it's not really. There we go. Also, not getting zapped by the lasers. Okay. together because this next part kind of sucks. Oh, I lost to Mario. Oh, I only need two. Okay, that's good. That's fine. But I needed three. Whew. I was about to be like, well, I'm going to need three Marios for this, so this is going to be do this level again. I honestly thought I was going to have to do this level again. <laughs> it's, like, it's one of those, if you're doing it with two players, it's fine, but to just be alone and doing this, it's kind of... Add that little extra, you know? That's a nice little peach snap. Alright, so the next level we got Searchlight Sneak. Oh yeah, that's an interesting level. <laughs> we got that, and then the castle, but we're gonna take that on in the next video. I am out of time for this one. Thank you all everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and let me know. Comment, let me know what you're thinking about this game so far. Let me know if I've missed any secrets. I probably have. I have not been looking for them. <laughs> and subscribe for more of this coming your way very soon. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.